Solving Sonic Boom has long been a holy grail in supersonic airplane design. And one thing I'm really excited about is Boomless Cruise, a solution for flying supersonic with absolutely no audible sonic boom on the ground. How? Waves bend as they go through different media. If you've seen a glass of water with a pencil in it, the pencil looks broken because the light waves bend or refract as they go through the water. The same thing happens in the air. The speed of sound isn't the same everywhere. Because it's colder up high and warmer down low, the speed of sound is actually higher near the ground than it is in the upper atmosphere. For that reason, sound waves curl upwards as they travel through the atmosphere. If we can control the way a sonic boom comes off the airplane, making it come off at a shallow angle while flying sufficiently high, we can make the sonic boom actually make a U-turn in the atmosphere before it ever hits the ground. This is physics that aerodynamicists have long called Mach cutoff, and we call this capability Boomless Cruise. Boomless Cruise uses real-time weather data, plus advanced computers, plus powerful engines to fly reliably in the Mach cutoff condition, such that we can fly supersonic over land, over populated areas, without creating a disturbance on the ground. This is a capability we demonstrated on XB-1, as we broke the sound barrier not once, not twice, but six times, each time reliably with no sonic boom. And it's a capability we're excited to bring to Overture passengers. Overture will also be able to fly at speeds up to Mach 1.3 with no audible boom. That means you could leave New York at 9 a.m. and land in San Francisco at 9.30 a.m., just three and a half hours later. This means flights 50% faster over land and two times faster over water.